There are a thousand ways to DIY beautiful art for your walls. I'll show you one easy DIY wall art I created for my foyer. Hello my friends. I've been having a hard time trying to find some wall art for my foyer that will go with my decor. Unfortunately, that search has been unsuccessful. So I thought, well, I can paint a piece of wall art that would go perfectly for this wall. So that's what I did. This is an easy weekend project. So let's take a look at the space. We are located in the foyer and this wall is where I will install the DIY wall art. The wall is quite long about 14 feet long by 4 feet wide and that is just the wall. The space to the ceiling is another 4 feet. This electrical box will be a art light and the light will shine down onto the art piece. The art will be applied vertically on most of this wall to about 4 feet from the floor. This is the idea I have in my head. We will see in the end if my idea was a good one. To complete this DIY project, here are the supplies we need. Your choice of acrylic paints, a jar of gesso canvas primer, frog tape or painter's tape, a variety of paint brushes and sponges, and a variety of canvas sizes. First, we need to prime our canvas with the gesso primer. You may paint without gesso, but if you're using acrylics, I suggest not to skip this step. The gesso creates a hard surface on your canvas, which keeps the paint from soaking through the weave. The gesso also provides a texture surface. Some painters like this surface, but I like mine smooth, so I put on two to three coats. There are canvases available that already have a thin layer of gesso applied to the surface. Now with that said, you may still see the weave texture coming through on the canvas. If you don't like this texture, apply gesso until it completely covers the weave. Here's a tip. Sand after each application has dried. I used a 400 grit paper. This sanding will ensure all the clumps and bumps and bubbles are nice and smooth out of the canvas. Make sure you follow the instruction when applying the gesso. You may have to wait 24 hours before painting. I love painting abstracts and this painter's tape makes it so easy. It leaves no residue and it creates straight lines. I purchased this 1.4 inch tape from Lowe's for $6.99. I hope you're able to see my door. The foyer is a little dark, but the sun is shining through. This is my front door. As you can see, it has a cut glass design. There are some red space here and there. And this is my inspiration piece for my DIY art piece. And it's gonna be placed on the wall across from this door. I used painter's tape to create my design using a photograph of my door. I start laying the tape accordingly. Here you see I am rubbing firmly the edges of the tape. This is burnishing. This ensures that the tape edges are sealed. Once I have the design as I like, I begin painting a section at a time, removing the tape when the paint is dry damp. Then start on another section. I repeat this until I complete the design. goodness 
the abstract came out beautifully. These five pieces can be moved around like a puzzle, creating several different looks that I can choose from. I hope this becomes a great weekend project for you to try. Send me a pic of your DIY art piece and don't forget to comment. Until the next time, my friends, smooches!